Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. So at the time we're recording this, it is Independence Day. It is July 4th, 2018. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you to the men and women who keep this country free. And for the men and women who have kept this country free for, uh, what, 240, 242 years approximately? Something like that. And we do appreciate you. And uh, we hope everyone has a safe Independence Day, a safe 4th of July, and has a lot of fun. Spends time with your family and your friends. And uh, just uh, knowing that um, we are free. But uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. And I wanted to make a video to bring you kind of up to speed on what I've been doing. I haven't made one for a while. Uh, it's been kind of sporadic lately. But... Um, so I have, uh, um, the last nine months, I guess, work has really been kicking my ass. Um, but so right now we're switching over to, I guess, the third phase of our project. And uh, this one will probably take us another 18 to 24 months, something like that to complete. But um, I want to take advantage of this t little time I have right now to kind of uh, bring you up to snuff on what I, what I have and the things that I've acquired since uh, this is the last time I showed you a firearm on my video. So I do buy... Um, all the time. I rarely ever sell anything or trade anything. I'm always looking for something new. And uh, I do have a couple things to show you today. I'm not going to go into details on anything, but uh, I do want to show you some of the things that I've picked up recently. Um, this one I actually acquired last uh, December, around Christmas time. Around Christmas time. Um, I saw this pop up on arms list, and I just uh, I had to jump on it. I, I could not pass it up. Um, so you know it is a Sig Sauer. I'm not sure this is the original case. This may be a, just a case that, that they, they use for this. But um, I saw this pop up on arms list really cheap, and I could not pass it up. And um, it was one of those deals where I, I honestly was kind of concerned when I bought it because it was so cheap. It was uh, very inexpensive, and um, especially for a, for a Sig. But I couldn't pass it up. And uh, let's, let's, let's get into what it is, and I'll, then I'll tell you uh, the problem that I had with it. So this right here is a SIG Pro 2009. Um, this is the, uh, let me flip this around here. This is part of their uh, SIG Blue Line Edition. Um, I had never um, actually had a chance to buy one of these before until now. Um, when I saw it, I couldn't pass it up, especially at the price. Um, I'm not even going to hint at what I paid for this. I'm, it's kind of almost embarrassing what I paid for it. Um, and I actually was concerned that something was wrong with it when I bought it. But it, it was uh, it's, it's kind of a unique enough a gun that uh, I was willing to take that chance. Um, these were introduced in 1998, and I believe the 9mm Parabellum was uh, announced in 1999. Um, they have served some law enforcement agencies and uh, the unique thing about this pistol this uh, this was the first SIG pistol with a polymer frame uh, this is very cool a um, little bit a little bit of history there um, so I have shot this I had this I've had this to the range a um, couple times and uh, twice actually and uh, we'll make sure that it is clear so I've had this to the range twice and, I, and like I said when I bought it I was concerned that there was a problem with it and uh, the, when I inspected it, the, bar the, the muzzle was clean, everything, it looked clean from uh, the outside. And when I, I took it to the range, I just shot it. And what I found was that it locked back every round. You basically had to hit the slide release every round to get the, to get the round to go home. It never failed to load a round, it just, the slide locked back. I brought it home, I cleaned it inside and out, and it was filthy. Um, I think whoever had it, Probably, I, I know they shot it. It was filthy inside. But the way this uh, SIG comes apart is uh, sort of like a 1911. Um, you have to push the pin through. Uh, this pin right here. You have to push this through from the other side. Um, it's a little difficult to get apart, a little difficult to get back together. So I think they just never cleaned it. Um, at least not thoroughly. They did uh, take care of the muzzle and stuff. I took it apart. I cleaned it. I cleaned the magazines. Um, I'm a stickler for that. I've, I've said that several times. I have fixed two SIG Sours now by cleaning the magazines. Um, I've had problems with the SIG magazines, and I, I don't use aftermarket magazines in these SIGs. These, these are SIG Sour magazines. Um, I've had problems with SIG magazines before, 
twice now I've cleaned magazines and, and fixed a SIG. I cleaned the gun, I cleaned the magazines, put it back together, no problems at all. It runs just fine. This is an actual really good, really good shooting gun. It's a nice fat grip. Uh, it fits my hand pretty good. I, I really like this pistol. It's heavy. Uh, it's not something that I'll carry. This is going to be, um, it's not really a safe queen, but it's going to probably stay in the safe for the rest of its life. But that's the story on this one. I picked it up um, off a guy off arms list. You know, we did the uh, bill of sale thing. He gave me a copy of his driver's license and uh, I was on my way. But um, yeah, I, I like it. For the price I paid for it, fantastic gun. I don't know uh, I'll ever find one for that price again. Um, and like I said, I, I I think he thought there was a problem with it when he sold it. Um, there wasn't. It was uh, just a matter of cleaning. It needed to be cleaned. And uh, like I said, I've seen that twice now with SIGs. All right. I don't know if that's a, that's epidemic necessarily with SIGs. Any firearm, if you have a problem with it, with it uh, uh, cycling ammo, clean it thoroughly and the magazines first before you assume that you need a gunsmith involved. But. All right, I'll get off of that one. Uh, next one I picked up. I stumbled across this in a uh, gun store. Some of you may recognize the logo there. This is a Dan Wesson Model 14. Um, someone had actually traded this in, and I did not have a box or anything with it. They did include the holster. And I'll show you the label on the holster there. Um, Rob Lehigh. Simply rugged, and on the back it's a 27C DW for Dan Wesson. Um, man, what a nice revolver. Um, this thing shoots fantastic. Um, a little high, a little high at 10, 15 yards. You got to aim at the bottom of the steel plates to hit the, uh, you know, the little uh, standard uh, sort of like eight inch steel plates. But man, does this thing shoot good. Great trigger, very manageable recoil. Um, it is 357 Magnum, so it does have some uh, some kick to it. But man, is I, I really like this revolver. I, then again, it, it's it's not something I'm going to take out and shoot every day. Um, but I do like to shoot 357 Magnum. All right, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next here? All right. Um, uh, next one that I bought, and I'm going to skip order. I'm going to skip around a little bit because. I want to save my favorite one for last. All right. Uh, let me take my bill of sale out of that one. I don't want you to see who I bought it from. This one I picked up on arms list also. Um, very cheap. I also bought this one very cheap. And uh, this one doesn't have a problem. It actually cycles very well. But it is a lower end 1911. This is the ATI FX45 GI model. Um, I really like this 1911. Um, for the for the price, man, I don't know. That, I don't know that I could get more 1911 than that. I'll give you a shot of the markings on that. Um, if you know a 1911, uh, this is a it's a 1911 like anything that any other 1911 that I've shot. It shoots great. Um, it is a 1911. It came with the box. He actually included some ammo with it and uh, uh, just 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 the one magazine. But I have a lot of 1911 magazines, so. And that's that. Um, like I said, great guns. For the price, um, I'd buy that all day long. Obviously, I did. Let's get another drink here. All right. Next thing I've been up to. Um, I kind of surprised myself. I was kind of surprised at this one. Um, so I was, in a, uh, I was in a gun store, and I found a, a trade-in. Like I said, all these are used. Um, I buy a lot of used guns. Um, I found an MMP 2.0. Um, this is the full size. This is not the compact. Um, I don't know if someone traded this in for a compact. I really don't know the story behind it. It was just traded in. Um, I I cannot say enough good things about this pistol. I absolutely love this MMP 2.0. What a fantastic shooting gun. Um, there is a oil in there. I did plan on putting it away, so. Uh, it's got a lot of oil in it, but man, what a fantastic shooting gun. I really, really like this gun. Um, for right now, it's going to stay in the safe until I shoot it a few more times, but man, I tell you what. Um, this is going to find a place. This is going to find a place by the nightstand or on my desk. 
Um, cause man, it, this is just, I love this pistol. It shoots so smooth. It shoots so true to aim. Um, I, I, I really, ca I cannot say anything negative about it. Um, recoil is very minimal and I'm not going to dwell on it too much. You've all seen pictures of it and you've probably all shot them, but I do love this MMP 2.0. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this gun at all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, love it. Um, like I said, I don't know what else to really say about it. I got the box and everything for a um, very reasonable price. I bought this from a gun store that I buy a lot of stuff from. And uh, they always, and I shouldn't say always, they have not given me a break a couple times. But they usually always give me a break in the price if you ask for it. Um, if you're buying a gun and you're not, not asking for a discount, maybe you should. You might save yourself a few bucks. But um, especially if you got cash. If you're dealing in cash, you can uh, you can use it as a bargaining chip because that will save them 2.5%, 3% on their sale. So that's it. That's what, that's what I've, uh, I've picked up in the last, uh, I guess, uh, six months to nine months since I've done a, a, a gun video. But... Um, no range videos for these yet. Um, I will uh, show you some stuff I've done at the range with them later. And we'll get into more details on each one later. And uh, I like I like all four of these. Um, I absolutely love this MMP 2.0. Um, yeah, nothing I, can, nothing I can bad I can say about that. Um, as far as the drink tonight. Uh, tonight we are... Uh, Going with the uh, Budweiser Red, and I'm sure everybody's probably uh, probably had some Budweiser Red. Uh, it's actually not um, it's actually not bad if you if you like Budweiser or any of the mass marketed beers, um, give it a try. It's actually pretty good as far as a uh, as far as a Budweiser that goes. You can see it is a uh, nice amber color. You get a nice amber color to it. Uh, the first one I poured nice and gentle because I wanted to get the whole thing in there without uh, fussing with it. But it will get a nice head. You'll get about a half a glass of head if you uh, get aggressive with the pour on it. So that's it. That's what I've been up to. Um, I do uh, I do plan on doing a lot more stuff. Like I said, I've got a lot of ideas that I want to do. i got a lot of things that I've been meaning to show you. A lot of things I've been meaning to do. I have videos that I need to finish and upload. I just... A lot of times, by the time I get home from work at night, I'm just, uh, I'm too mentally exhausted to really do much else. So, but like I said, work's really been kicking my ass for the last nine months. I think I've got a small reprieve here for a month or so where I'm going to be just busy. Not like running around with like a chicken with my head cut off type busy like I have been for the last nine months. But, I might fool myself. I may go to work Monday and uh, find out otherwise. But, um... If things continue to stay at a normal pace, uh, look for a few more videos from me. Um, I do want to show this one at the range. I'll probably show shooting all of these at the range. Um, like I said, the SIG is um, the SIG is more of a, a collector's piece to me, even though it has no collector value per se. Um, for someone who collects SIGs, it has a value. For someone who collects law enforcement um, items or military items, it may have a value. But for as far as just a firearm that really has no significant value. Um, but um, it does have some significance to me. So anyway, it will go in my collection. It will probably never uh, see a gun store again until uh, someone else owns all these. And uh, I won't be around then. So until then. Um, I wish everybody a, a, a Merry Independence Day. It may be after Independence Day. Uh, it w probably will be after Independence Day when you see this. Um, even if I get it uploaded tonight, it's going to probably, you know, who's going to be watching YouTube at, uh, on Independence Day? Uh, very few of us probably. So, But that's it. You all have a happy Independence Day, safe Independence Day. Hope everybody has all their fingers tomorrow morning. And I'll talk to you later.